Good evening, guys, because it is evening out here. It's 7.20 at night. I am out here only because we rented this machine for the whole weekend um, to do the job that we did. You guys seen in earlier videos. So I'm going to take advantage of um, having this machine instead of, like you've seen me earlier, flip over the aisles with a spade shovel. I'm just going to cut it out with the old Billy Goat sod cutter here. Um, and try to get as much as I can done and then we're gonna cut some out on the other side so we can really easily plant when we can um, now we are not gonna put anything else into the ground um, surprise freeze is coming we're supposed to get down to 22 degrees here in the mountains so we have about a thousand plants we're definitely gonna have to bring in the peach tree again um, not good there's so many it's going to be three days of below freezing and two are a really really hard freeze so that will i'm pretty sure that'll kill these um we're gonna put hoops over it let's hope that that helps um i hate to lose this stuff but i'm glad i didn't make it all the way down to there with all the plants so let's go ahead and start cutting this in with the sod cutter and see how much i can get done before i lose light out here guys No surprise, it's raining again. Hopefully um, it should pull through in the next hour and then I'm gonna try cutting some of that field over there, hopefully, um, so we can have the aisles because we gotta take that machine back. So let's see what happens. So I'm back out here. By the way, good morning guys, or actually just turned afternoon. As you've seen, it was raining really hard this morning. We got another, I think, three quarters of an inch of rain. And not surprisingly, because we've talked about rain a lot this year. And I told Rachel it was going to be a wet year this year. Um, we're up to 32 inches of rain um, since the beginning of the year in 2021. Um, and we're supposed to get more rain Wednesday, another inch and a half maybe. Let's hope not. I think it's at night hopefully but i'm out here to check on the plants i'm gonna empty out the sod if you guys watched the last couple of videos we're cutting out all that sod at that project we're doing um we brought some home gave it to the chickens and we are going to um take the rest and i'm gonna layer it in my compost pile so it breaks down all that good organic dirt tons of worms in there um and then we're gonna use that the grass clippings and um any leaves and dry stuff that we get throughout the season during cleanups but let's check on all these plants um rachel transplanted the ones we got from lowe's the other day they actually look really good they were almost dead so let's go look at them so if you guys remember these are the plants we got at lowe's remember they were all almost dying she transplanted them deadheaded them and they look awesome already um this is the broccoli we got from the nursery we have to plant that in the field but we're at a halt on planting anything in the field because all this stuff here, all this um, basil and stuff, it's all coming in. It doesn't even really look 100%. I'm gonna fertilize these, but um, they'll get there once the temperature warms up. Oh, she planted some of these, nice. Oh, here's the other ones. Some of them look bad, but they're, they'll come back. And what is this, Cle? I forget what that is. She looks like she transplanted that. All these are doing wonderful after we transplanted them. These have some fertilizer in them. All the ones you see with the stuff on it, I have to mix it into the soil and move them over here with everything else we transplanted. Oh, did you see that? That was a bowl. A bowl. We have bowls. They like to eat our plants. Yeah. 
fine. Now, now ducks escape, guys. So guys, as you've seen, what I kind of was doing is there were leaves on the bottom. We put um, the sod, I flipped it upside down and put it on the, hey, look, a chicken came to see us. Um, I put the sod down, grass face down to decompose. Um, had a lot of worms in it, so it should help this. Then I layered it with more leaves, brown material, put more sod, then more leaves. Well, when I mow the garden the next time, I'm gonna put like a four inch layer of grass on top and then we'll try to find some more um, dry leaves. Even if I have to incorporate some of the um, leaf compost that I have already into this. Now this would be hopefully by the end of the year, it's way up. Um, and then when, whenever we run a machine like a dingo or something or a bobcat, um, if we do that driveway, I'm gonna come and flip this whole pile over, um, hopefully in like six months. But we're just going to keep piling stuff on there for now. I'm not going to bother trying to flip it over. There's a lot of sod and grass down in there. Sorry about the wind. You guys want to see Rachel's garlic? Look how nice Rachel's garlic looks. Now that's not supposed to be there. And you know, you know you have a lot of rain when you have standing water. This is on our fig trees. Hopefully that doesn't hurt them. So here's all the stuff that I transplanted the other day. Um, this doesn't have mulch on it, but they're doing way better, even though they're flooded. I mean, when you can do this in your soil, that's not good at all. But I'm hoping, I think the mixture I put with these is gonna do wonders for all this rain we've been getting. Um, it's just crazy, the amount of rain. These are snapdragons coming back. And then look. Not looking too bad. These were yellowing, but as you can see, the new ones are greening up again. Same thing here. They were browning. All my new leaves are starting to green up again on my broccoli and everything else. And these were just transplanted not too long ago. Are you following me everywhere? You're like my pet chicken. You look like a peacock there for a minute. So, so now that I got that emptied out, I am going to continue what I started last night, you guys seen. I am gonna finish cutting these beds in, flipping all these aisles over, and then we only have to clean up the middle of this aisle. Sorry about the wind again. So let me get that going. So I got all these cut, turned, most of them. I still gotta do the center of these aisles, but this will give me a head start. Some stuff's growing in the center of these still, all the way down to here. Now these aren't flipped yet, but they're cut in all the way to here. I just need to take a break now and we have to run up and pick up that other sod that we cut out. And then I'll come back and I'm gonna cut the rest of the other side. Not gonna mark it out. All I'm gonna do is run what I think are straight lines. I might mark it a little bit, but not go too crazy because I wanna be done tonight with the sod cutter. 
and load it back on the trailer. So, okay, I'm gonna go take a break. Guys, we took a break from farming <laughs> and we came to get these rolls of sod yeah. up here. Um, so if you guys want to see this project, it won't be in this video. Go back to the one before this and the one after this and you will see us doing this landscaping project. Oh, but for now, we're going to get we're going to get this back and then I got to get back and cut more rows in the farm. Yeah. So we'll see you back at the house when we're done this. Sounds good. There we go. All the sod rolls are in here. Now we won't be back to this job probably until Wednesday to finish, not finish, set things up for the client and see if she wants to move anything around that we had in the drawing, right? Yeah, we're... We have to mow between. Yeah, we're not really going by the drawing anymore because we originally had like Blue Point Junipers here and we're coming to find that this is a very tricky hill right here. So if you look, you have to pull up all the way to here to see out. So when you're sitting in your car, you're kind of like right here. Our original plan was to put junipers and everything here, Blue point right? Juniper, Blue point junipers, then, arborite. Yeah. So now we're going to just try to keep the smaller stuff here on this side. And then put the bigger stuff going that way. But still give her the privacy. Privacy. That she but wants. I think with that, that one right here in yeah. the front, the and then maybe some Alberta the spruces here right, dwarf. Yeah. Then we have the lilac, and then we have the hinoki, and then we can probably even do either another Alberta or even one of the yellow. Yeah, we'll have to set it up and see what she likes. Yeah, so it's just going to be playing with it, which is nice when you have clients that are flexible. Like yeah. That, so. so, okay, right. let's go back to cutting in this garden before it gets too late. And the freeze comes. You have a lot of plants to bring in tonight. Oh, yeah. They all have to come in tonight. Your zinnias, at least, I think. And anything that's not, like... Yeah, like the, um... Kale and everything can stay out. Kale can stay out, but the, uh... Whatchamacallit needs to come in. The amaranth. Yeah. Okay, let's get back. Guys, I'm back out here. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad. It is very windy out here. Hopefully I'm blocking it. What I'm going to do is because this side cutter has to... Oh, man. Because the side cutter has to be back tomorrow morning, I'm going to get as much of this cut up as I can because we want to put rows over here too. So let me go ahead and get this done real quick. So it's pretty dark out here. I got this row cut. This row cut. I incorporated some helpers with me. Yeah. Yeah, one who won't touch dirt. Paige said she doesn't touch dirt. <laughs> she only grabs the grass, so it's all flipped over funny. Right. So she flips it over, and then Kayla and I have to come back. And, oh, that was a good one. She has to show off now. She has to show off her skills. So that they go to Mellow's Adventures and follow Paige. It is windy and cold out here. Yes, Paige has Mellow's Adventures, guys. If you want to check out her channel. And Kayla has KRV videos. Yeah. No, you can't. All right. And Kayla has KRV videos if you guys want to check out their channel. Mellow's Adventures and KRV videos. And Paige is only... 400 and something away from a thousand, right? I'm one from 10. <laughs> you're, 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 one, you're, you're one from 10 subscribers. Yay. Well, for your 
work. Oh, thanks for your help, girls. Okay, oh, we'll be you. back out tomorrow. Yeah. So, so you guys see, really, really we got some done out here. It's dark out. We're yeah. going to end the video now. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And be happy. Or at least try. Have a good night, Have guys. Have a good night. <laughs>